Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm about to show you exactly what you have to do to fix Rainbow Six Edge crash on PC on startup on your computer. I'll just share with you what worked for me. I can't go to this law for you as well, but you may try this. May I just uh, may as well just try this method and leave your results in the comment section. I've uh, tested this myself and it worked. So I hope it's gonna work for you as well. Me, please leave your results in the comment section. So I'm curious to read your feedback and your results. And also, yeah, that's about it. So let's jump right in the video. So what you can do first to fix this problem, usually this problem is related to crashing. This crashing is related to your graphic card. So let's head over to your manufacturer. For me, it's GeForce Experience or NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA is the manufacturer I have, that's the GPU I have, it's a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 and is what you have to do for here is to click on check for updates, click on download, this will install the latest driver and if you, if you have an AMD you can uh, click in the link on the description and link in the description of this video and there you can there you can find all the links here, the first link for AMD, this will auto detect and install the latest updates for you, so click on download and install right now, and for a Microsoft Visual C++ you need this in order to run any game, so make sure you click on download and also for DirectX end user, click on download to install all these tools you need to have in order to run the game without any problem. And also for Intel users this is what you need. Now. Also, let's head over to Windows Update and install your Windows, uh, sorry, reinstall the latest Windows Update and also go to Update Options, Optional Updates and here make sure there is uh, some updates available for you. I, as of right now, I don't have any updates because I already updated, uh, I already installed the latest optional updates which are very important for your computer. Now another way to fix this problem, let's go to Device Manager and here Let's click on the game on sorry on the game on display adapter expand update search and the, here I have the base driver so I hope you have the best driver as well and now the max method let's go to Steam click on the game properties and here make sure you click on verify integrity of game files and then once you've done that once you click on verify integrity of game files make sure you click on browse open the window and here select the game the um, select the, the game so we can fix the crashing so here in rainbow if you want to fix rainbow crashing click on properties or compatibility and make sure here you turn disable full screen optimization and change I, uh, DPI settings and here check override the high DPI scaling behavior scaling performance by application uh, check this, apply and OK and if that didn't work you can also make sure you click on run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8 and also run this program as a mission sure apply and OK and if that didn't work also make sure you after you've done that make sure you go to game mode and here turn this off and also Xbox turn this off and you go to graphics and here go to the game uh, here in this list you'll find your game, click on option and here select high performance. So like, now click on save and this is pro this is, should give you the la the best results and the best performance to run this game as you as you should. You can also go now to settings, control uh, Windows logo plus I, I believe is the shortcut. And here go to accessibility, visual effects, turn this off, turn this all this off, it will not give you any any there's no reason to use this only if you like uh, you know only if you're looking for way to make your visual experience better you know I don't care that you know I don't want animation effect I just want to be able to play the game you know so I hope you want that as well that's kind of that's the end of the video guys I hope leave your results in the comment section and I'll see you in the next tutorial take care and I hope you're gonna have a fantastic day